besties welcome back to my channel and welcome to our last week of 50 hard you guys we literally made it we have a full week and one day left okay so this vlog is going to include my last like full week and then it'll go into monday and monday is technically my last day of my 50 hard instead of doing like a separate vlog just for one day i'm just going to combine it so i hope you don't mind but yeah it is officially our last week of 50 hard i can't believe how fast time has gone like we literally were just on week one introducing the challenge and building this little community together and like fast forward already week seven and i'm so thankful for everybody here who has stuck around through my journey and to whoever is also doing the challenge i hope you're doing well and i hope you're staying strong you got this and i believe in you but yeah i'm so pumped we're gonna end this week so strong and honestly the one thing i'm looking forward to at the end of this challenge is sleeping in past 7 a.m so just being completely honest there i I'm really tired, but nonetheless, let's hit our first workout of our last week of our 50 hard. Let's just have that set the tone for the week. Absolutely insane. Mm hmm. I'm just drinking my double shot espresso, eating my protein pancakes with some banana. I just finished doing my journaling and my 10 pages of reading. Quick book update if you are a Sarah J. Mass fan as well. I finished the Throne of Glass series on Sunday. Still trying to mentally recover from everything that happened, but it was so freaking good. And immediately I had to go to Barnes and Noble and get the Crescent City series. So I'm on book number one, which is House of Earth and Blood. And right now it's just like a lot of world building, so nothing is super intriguing or keeping me like wanting to read but i want to get through a lot of the world building so that we can get into like the actual plot but i do have a lot to do today so if i'm going to read again it'll probably be tonight before bed this morning was so hard for me i really contemplated eating that 20 dollar cancellation fee i haven't been having the best sleep lately and it's kind of like catching up to me so i had to wake up at four to make my five o'clock class and although it was like a great class in the moment, as soon as I was done, I just felt so exhausted. But nonetheless, I pushed through and I just checked my like period tracker app and it says that my period's about to come in like a few days. And I think that's also why I've just been feeling so exhausted. I'm feeling a little bit bloated and I've been more hungry lately and my sleep has just not been hitting and I've been getting hot easily. So those are the four indicators for me that the time is coming. I'm just trying to work through it 
and still push myself the best that I can. And I just haven't felt this tired throughout this whole challenge. Like, I think it's because it's the last week and the end is so near, but like, we just need to finish strong. We're so close. And yeah, the timing is horrible that I'm about to start my period on like the last week of this challenge. But you know, this challenge is to build discipline. So what are you gonna do? I am not slipping up during the last week. Like I am finishing so strong and we'll get through it together. For now, double espressos to carry me through the finish line. showered i didn't wash my hair obviously because i have class in the morning and i'm already in bed and i'm not even mad about it i'm gonna read the rest of the night and i have my little banana bread as my sweet treat for the night because like i said i've just been feeling so low energy and this is just not the type of energy that i want for my last week of 50 heart i just had this expectation of like being so happy and joyful and high energy but that clearly is just not the case these past few days i don't know what's in the air i just feel very mentally fatigued and i honestly just want to blame it on my period coming soon i've just been a lot hungrier so just eating a lot more um craving bad things and that's why i made my little banana bread sweet treat we are in the last week i am not failing that's fine we're just taking care of ourselves tonight and resting up because i have to wake up at 4 30 for my 5 a.m hot yoga class so i just want to be well rested and being that i just haven't had the best sleep the past few days i just want to go to bed earlier so that's exactly what i'm going to do and i also have been getting a lot of questions about my light situation i have a little ball lamp over here i have my little ball lamp over here and then i have this lamp over here all of them are from ikea and all of them have this like smart bulb it's from the brand singled and i'll link it down in my description for you guys and i can control them all with my phone so i can like turn them on and off obviously and i can change the colors for each one like we have the full-on rainbow here there's not a color that was missed and so when i'm in bed and i want to like wind down for the evening and make myself like become tired i'll just turn on the red lights for all of them like if you have trouble with sleeping get a red light it seriously helps but being that i'm gonna read for a bit i'm just gonna put it on like purple maybe whoa that makes me look really weird we'll just do a little soft orange moment that way i can see my book <laughs>
Trader Joe's Kung Pao Chicken taste test. It smells so good. Mmm. That is pretty good for frozen Kung Pao Chicken. I'm honestly impressed. This is really good. And it's the perfect amount of spicy. I don't like it too overpowering. It came with two packets of Kung Pao sauce, but I literally only used half of one. And I still feel like it's pretty saucy, so keep that in mind. I feel like if I used all of it, it would have been like soup almost, but this is super good. And if you're wondering why I like work and eat in the same spot every day, it's because I don't have like a little office setup, and, but I really want to make one of my guest bedrooms my like home office. Um, our house is a three bed, two bath, so we have the space for it. So I'm like, why not utilize it? So I definitely want to make one of them into my little office, have like all my PR, have my laptop, have like a cute desk, my little cozy couch, and just like really cute for filming purposes as well. But let me know if you want me to take you guys through that whole like redesign process. I think it'll be so fun. Basically all the furniture that I want for my home office is from Ikea. So it'll be very affordable and I think it'll be really cute to document. So let me know if you want to see that. I'll do like a little home series. I think that'd be super fun. And I do plan on doing a house tour. I've gotten a few requests for that. So I definitely want to film that once I have like my little home office set up. So we added the legs to our bed frame and I don't know if I love it or hate it. I kind of miss being really low to the ground. This is how it looks. I'm just not used to being that like high up, but I do want like a headboard eventually. Like I want, I really want the soft frame, but they're literally a thousand dollars. So maybe I'm manifesting a collab with them because I just cannot imagine spending a thousand dollars on a bed frame. But what do we think? We're a little high up on the ground, but it's kind of growing on me. I showed this earlier, but I woke up to the cutest surprise for my boyfriend and not the literal wine craft. I'm dead, but he assembled it last night. So I had a lovely surprise in the morning. These colors are absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> dry shampoo and the smell is really nice it doesn't smell like icky dry shampoo but i guess we'll see the final result after i'm just gonna let this marinate in my hair while i do my makeup i'm hopping on a call with a brand at 11 30 and right now it's 10 25 so i just want to get ready and just look more presentable <laughs>
Saturday. I just quickly got ready for the day because I need to shoot content at the Aria. I'm doing a little collab with them at the Crystal Shops and specifically highlighting the newly opened Acne Studios. And so I'm gonna shoot content at Acne Studios, which I'm just like over the moon for because I've always wanted to like shop at Acne Studios, but I don't think I'm gonna buy anything today just because it's a little out of my price range. But this is my simple just filming fit. You've seen these pieces before. They're just my tried and true. Um, and then I'm adding this little pop of color. And also it's just a bigger bag to hold my cameras and stuff. And I'm wearing my Dior heels. And then my new earrings from By Brienne. My friend is so freaking talented. She designs like all of her jewelry and she has a little business. So I love buying statement jewelry from her and you guys need to check her out. Her Instagram is By Brienne. But I also can't wait to take these on vacation with me. They're just so stunning. So this is the outfit for this morning. <laughs> morning besties and happy sunday i just had a really chill sunday morning i woke up so exhausted i think it's because like i'm finally entering REM sleep because this whole week i have not had great sleep i feel like i was just in and out constantly i was just waking up throughout the night every single day and last night was the first time all week that i slept like the whole night through and so i woke up feeling like i had 20 hours of sleep like i was just like lethargic and i did not want to get out of bed i just wanted to chill but nonetheless i forced myself to get out of bed at 7 a.m and i had a really slow morning i read for about an hour and a half and now i'm gonna head to my nail appointment because i'm gonna start preparing for my upcoming trip to hawaii which is like the literal reason why i started doing this challenge was one to just you know better myself but two is just to prep for this vacation to hawaii so i'm not going to show much about today because i'm doing a separate prepare and pack with me video for hawaii i didn't want to just leave you guys in the dark so make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss that video so yeah i'm headed to the nail salon right now and then later today i need to do my 45 minute workout because i didn't do it this morning because i just was not feeling it so yeah that's the plan for sunday i just got home from my nail appointment and these are the new nails but you're gonna see that in my prep and pack with me vlog. But now I'm going to quickly change into just some workout clothes because I'm gonna do a restorative yoga sesh outside in my like backyard by the pool. The weather is so good right now. It's literally 60s, like in winter, it's 60 degrees. So, so let's just spend some time outside.
Hi besties, we have officially made it to our last day. I actually can't believe those words are coming out of my mouth. The fact that 50 days have flown by this quickly is actually alarming. But yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys and to tell you guys that I successfully did the 50 hard challenge. I only slipped up once in my week one video where I woke up at 7.30 instead of 7. And since then I haven't broken any rules. So I consider that as a win. I remained committed and I just stayed on track the entire time. And I do feel like a better version of myself. Looking back 50 days ago, I feel like I was just very unmotivated and just kind of going through the motions and feeling anxious going into the new year with the same habits that I didn't like about myself. And now I've successfully done 50 days of implementing these healthier habits into my life. And I truly feel like it has built up my discipline and it's propelled me forward to achieve my goals. But yeah, instead of yapping your ears off, I want to make a separate video in the near future about the things that I've taken away from this challenge and things that I want to implement into my life and things that I do not want to implement in my life anymore. Be on the lookout for that separate video of just things that I've learned from 50 Hard and what I want to take away from. I wanted to also thank you guys so much for your unwavering support throughout this whole challenge. I love this community that we've built together. I am going to continue making wellness and productivity vlogs because one, I am a work in progress. I'm not just going to stop implementing these healthy habits just because the 50 hard is over. I want to keep practicing it into my daily life and also practice balance. And I definitely want to take you guys along. So stay tuned for a ton more productivity and wellness vlogs. It's been such a great time having this community kind of just like back me up. And I hope you guys feel my support for you as well. I love chatting with everyone in the comments and I want to continue building this community up because it's been so fun having my besties here with me. Again, be on the lookout for a separate video kind of talking about the results of my challenge, things that I want to take away from and the things that I no longer want to implement into my life. Thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting me throughout this whole challenge. Thank you for all the love and the comments. I do see them all and it just literally means the most to me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to see more wellness and productivity vlogs. Um, and I'll see you in the next vid. Love you, bye.